In this video, I'll show you how to set the in and the out points and the DaVinci Resolve timeline and something to look out for. If you haven't downloaded DaVinci Resolve, I'll put the link in the description of this video. There's a free version that's probably good enough for 95% of the people out there creating videos, but there's also a professional version called DaVinci Resolve Studio. As of March 3rd, 2024, it's a $295 one-time fee. There is no subscription and both the free version and the paid version have free updates. I've got DaVinci Resolve open and to make sure we're looking at the same thing, come down here to the bottom of your screen. Make sure this edit icon is selected. It's highlighted. That, that means you'll be in the DaVinci Resolve workspace. And come up here to the top of the screen and select workspace and then come down here to where it says reset UI layout. So your layout and my layout should look identical except for the video and audio clips. So this, this window over here on the right, that's the preview window for what's on the timeline. And I'm just dragging the playhead over the video clip and audio clip at the bottom. If you hover your mouse over any of these clips, um, video, audio, graphics, or a photo, it'll pop up in this uh, media pool preview window. This is an audio clip, but the reason you're not hearing anything is because I'm not capturing the desktop audio, because if I did, um, that would just be distracting and annoying. Usually you don't need to see this media uh, preview window. So to hide it, just come to the upper right hand corner of the screen and select inspector and it will hide it. If you don't see anything in the preview window for what's in the uh, the timeline, just click on the playhead and just drag it. So right now I have a video clip which has no audio. This audio is just a song that a friend of mine's brother wrote and I'm just using it for filler. Right now everything is way off to the right and and out of out of view and you can tell that because you have this scroll bar over here. So if you grab the scroll bar you could just keep scrolling. But to get everything on the timeline so you can see it from from beginning to end want to come over here to this icon and if you hover your mouse over it it'll say full extent zoom just click on that and now you see everything on the timeline from beginning to end and this audio clip is way too long so I'm going to drag it over and it will snap to the video clip because we have this snapping icon enabled and it's enabled by default. So to set an in and an out point, and an in and an out point is just what part of the video that you want to be processed. And usually you want the entire thing from beginning to end, but you may have a, a video or audio clip that you only want a certain section. So to um, do that, set the playhead wherever you want. Press the letter I on the keyboard. Then you can move the playhead and then press the letter O. And right now, the only thing that will be processed if I went down here to this deliver tab to create a final output, a final video or a final audio file, would be what's under this gray in and out bar. So everything to the left would be ignored and everything to the right would be ignored. And you just you'd have a video or an audio clip with just what's under this gray bar. But what I want to do is I want to have the entire thing processed. So I'm going to press the home key on the keyboard. And if for some reason it doesn't react, just click mouse click anywhere on the timeline and then um, press a key, whatever key you want to press. In this case, the home key. And then I'll press the letter I to set an endpoint. Then I'm going to press the the end key and then press the letter O. So now everything will be processed. But I want to show you something. So I want to zoom in 
on the end of the timeline where the playhead is. And to do that, select this icon, which is the detail, detail zoom. And when you do that, the playhead will be centered on the timeline and zoomed in. Then what you want to do is grab this slider and you want to move it all the way to the right. And now you're zoomed in at the frame level. So to move the playhead or yeah, the playhead forward or backward one frame at a time, use the left and right arrow key that's on your keyboard. Usually you'll have a left and right and up and down arrow key. And if you move it to the left, it's going to go back one frame at a time. And you can tell because right here, this is the frames per second. This is the seconds. This is the minutes. And this is the hours. And the reason it starts off with an hour, and I created a video about this, is that's just basically as a reference, letting you know that you're in the first hour of the video. That can be changed to zero. I, that's in the video that I created. I suggest you not do that, though. But for right now, what I want to do is I want to get the audio snapped to the very end of the video. So I'm just going to gra grab it and drag it back. But right now, the this gray in and out bar is one frame beyond the end of the video, which is probably no big deal. But if you have a video or an audio clip and it needs to be exact, say exactly 15 seconds or 10 seconds or a minute, you don't want it extending past that. So right now I'm at the end of the clip. And if I press the O key, it's not... It's not uh, reacting. So to get it so everything lines up, and if you don't have a right and left arrow key, you can press the K key on your keyboard, hold that down, and then press the L key. We'll move the playhead one frame to the right. Holding the K key and pressing the J key will move the playhead one frame to the left. So I'm going to move the playhead one frame to the left of the end of the clip and then I'm going to press the O key and now everything is lined up. So that's just something to watch out for. Again, it probably doesn't matter to most people, but you may have uh, an occasion where it, it does matter. So I hope this helps with um, uh, understanding how to set the in and out points. And uh, thanks for watching.